going on guys? Coach here at the Lions Den, and here I have my handy dandy helper, Mr. Z, who is the best dog in the world. Come at me, bro. Uh, but in this video, very short, and I kind of played this off a tweet that I put on my Twitter. Yeah, I'm tweeting, guys. Somebody stop me because I am just on fire with these tweets lately. And it has to do with conditioning uh, when you're a strength sport athlete. Okay, I put other videos out that we can link throughout this video. Uh, with some conditioning tips uh, but the first thing is like why would we condition as a strength sport athlete okay we just lift heavy objects well there's a couple reasons one because it's just good for you right it's great for your health cardiovascular system etc and i am always in favor of just being a more healthy individual secondly okay it helps with work capacity all right so when you guys are doing higher reps okay it's good to have uh, a good work capacity ability to recover and able to just train at higher volumes then which will likely produce strength gains down the road once we reduce the volume and increase the intensity okay so just if you are involved with uh, strength training don't be one-minded and think all i need to do is barbell stuff right you guys make sure you take care of your heart and conditioning a little bit along the way now piggyback even further off of that sometimes conditioning can be pretty boring so in this video we just want to give you guys a couple examples of things that you can do to make your conditioning a little bit more fun, all right? So the first one is something I've been doing a ton of recently, and that is uh, walking, hiking, and rucking, all right? So if you're someone like myself who's not a big fan of actually running, okay? And I don't really think that as a strength sport athlete, you guys should be running a whole lot if your main focus is to get stronger. Uh, but what I do think is a nice place to start is just going for a walk. So I walk every single day. Could be, you know, walking my man Mr. Zeke here for just you know, 25, 30 minutes or maybe 10 minutes after every meal. Uh, but I also like to hike, okay? So when I'm hiking, one, I'm out in nature, which is there's benefits of getting out in nature, you know, getting some sunlight, uh, a little bit of solitude, which is just great for the mind as well. Uh, it's scenic, okay? So you get to see some different things. So if you like nature, hiking is fantastic. Uh, the other thing is rucking, okay? So when I go rucking, that's just a weighted uh, walk or march. So typically I just run my weight vest. You can have anywhere from 20 to 40 or 50 pounds, which is nice because you can kind of scale that intensity of how hard you want your ruck to be. Another way you could scale it would just be the type of trail that you're doing. Uh, but that's just going to get your heart rate up. And it's just something that's a little bit different uh, that you can enjoy, okay? And you can also do that, like I said, with your dog, friends, family. So it becomes more than just yourself and it's, a, it's just a nice activity. Uh, secondly, something that we can do from there is playing with odd objects. Okay, obviously I'm in the sport of strongman. Um, we have a lot of athletes here who do strongman training. So what makes that fun is it's almost more like play than necessarily conditioning. So we'll do things like on the minute sandbag or keg runs. Uh, so, you know, we're you know, with a group of people picking up an object, you know, running down and back with it. And at the end of that workout, we're drenched in sweat, our heart rate's elevated, we've accomplished a lot of goals there. Uh, but it just makes it more fun than the, the monotony of going on a treadmill or going on elliptical. Not to say that these things are bad necessarily, but it just changes the pace up a little bit and it adds uh, just a new, unique flavor to the conditioning. Now after that, the third thing I always recommend, this is something I've done ever since I was a kid, is pushing and pulling sleds. I love sled work. You know, some people out there argue sled work, you know, for whatever reasons, but I just think there are a lot of benefits, especially for the novice lifter to be pushing and pulling sleds, okay? If you're a novice, you may actually get a little bit of strength gains, right, from just building up the muscles in the quads, the glutes, the hamstrings, posterior chain. Uh, but for more advanced lifters, okay, we're working on that work capacity. We're getting some conditioning in. It's also a great tool for just priming and warming up uh, for your session. So sometimes I like to hop on a sled, I'll push and pull it a little bit. During that time, okay, getting my heart rate elevated, getting some blood flow, and I'm also mentally focusing on the task at hand, right? So uh, those are just three really awesome ways that you can include some conditioning in your training. Now the fourth one's a bonus. I don't know if you guys can handle it, but it's a Razor scooter. Yeah, I highly recommend you guys go to your local Walmart or Target, or for those of you guys who uh, like to hustle like me on the side on the Facebook Marketplace, pick yourself up a Razor scooter, heck, maybe even a skateboard for all I know. It's just fun, it's something different to do. Okay, the only thing with the Razor scooter is watch your shit, okay, because that thing will put you in the hospital. So don't do any crazy bunny hops like I do where I'm getting massive amounts of sick air. Uh, but 
it just changes it up a little bit, guys, and it's something fun that you can incorporate into your training. Maybe rollerblades are coming back and making a hit. Rollerblades, roller skates, there's a difference. Google it. Uh, but that's all we have for you guys in this short video. So if you guys are involved with strength sports, all right, make sure you're taking care of your heart, make sure you're working on your work capacity, uh, and that's it. So stay lean, mean strength machine. Watch the videos linked up throughout here with uh, some more in-depth conditioning, actual workouts that you can do. Um, and I will catch up with you guys next time. Peace. Say bye, Z. Say bye. 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 Ready to kiss? Oh, yes. Hold it. Love Mr. Z. Best dog in the world.